Boom shakalaka. What is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love and today we are talking about Proof of Authority Network, POA Network, formerly known as Oracle's Network, formerly known as Net Notary Network. I think the name's getting better with each iteration. But before we get started, just want to say thank you to everyone for subscribing. Thank you to everyone mashing on that like button and let's get into it. Now, Proof of Authority or POA Network is basically aiming to do the same exact thing that Ethereum does, but with a different consensus mechanism. Instead of you visiting proof of work, like Ethereum is using right now, they're going to use proof of authority, hence the name. So what is proof of authority? Well, we'll get into that in a minute, but taking a look at things here, POA is the platform for smart contracts and dApps. It is an open Ethereum side chain with proof of authority consensus reached by independent validators. Now, their mission, well, basically they're addressing the problem of building a service on top of a public blockchain is very difficult. It requires high technical skill. So you need to have, be a blockchain programmer, blockchain developer, Solidity programmer, whatever it is. Also a lot of costs. And because of that, many small and medium businesses aren't able to partake in blockchain. So what they're doing is building a public network that combines speed, security, cost efficiency uh, to those small businesses. So hopefully they'll get more people on the blockchain. And they're also aiming to do it um, with using interledger protocols to help bridge blockchains. All right. So with we talk a lot about blockchain interoperability. This is one that is planning on using it. Now, in terms of use cases, they have a few different ideas about what could be done. But, you know, it's basically depending upon what people want to do. So organizations can build their own networks. So they basically have their own blockchain with their own validators. So the proof of authority is specific to each individual business. And those people, those people who are doing the proof of authority, they're responsible for the governance of that, um, of that chain. Now, developers can also deploy dApps using the proof of authority framework. And they talk about a whole bunch of different use cases, one of them being identity. All right, so identity is huge on the POA network and some other things. Now, in terms of glossary, uh, basically proof of authority is their consensus mechanism. So instead of uh, using proof of work, which is mining, or using proof of stake, which is uh, basically having a lot of the tokens, all right, holding them, they're using proof of authority. So basically there are going to be 12 validators that are delegated um, by the master of ceremony. So the master of ceremony is a person who initiates the network. Maybe this will be a business owner. He's the master of ceremony. He delegates 12 validators. The validators are the ones who verify, who validate the blocks. All right, so they're the ones who are uh, required for continuing the network. And he gives them 12 keys, which they then uh, turn in for a subset of keys. All right. Now, the in one of the most important things that they mention here, aside from their consensus mechanism, is the idea of identity. Identity is huge in this network because they need to know that these people, um, you know, are real people. They have no criminal background. They also require them to get to be a notary public. So a whole bunch of things to prove that they're legitimate people because they're the people validating the network. All right. They're the ones responsible for it. Um, they're basically staking their identity to help maintain the network, to help secure the network. Now, this reminds me a bit of a few other uh, systems, the delegated proof of stake, something that uh, BitShares and Steemit and Lisk use, where they have 21 validators who are delegated, who are chosen. But this is just a little bit different. Um, now, specific features of POA, five, se five second block time. So it's very quick compared with other things. Also, there's no mining, so it's not. Uh, it doesn't require a huge energy consumption. There's built-in governance, so they actually have a governance DAP, right? Um, they have whenever they hard fork, they're actually legally binding. Then they have model for hybrid networks and supported DAPs. They are a member of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. Also, they're built on parity. Now. Taking a look at the roadmap, they have done quite a bit of development up until now. So back in 2017, it was announced at the Ethereum meetup. Then Igor, their main developer, won Consensus 2017 Hackathon, 
with one of their dApps. All right. The uh, testnet launched in August, and then the mainnet launched in December. But they also have a few other different dApps that they're doing, and they've expanded their team. So let's take a look at some of these dApps. They have a few different dApps that they've created already. Now, these POA network dApps are the ones that are required to kind of start your own POA network. They have the Ceremony app, which is the validators will use to replace the 12 initial keys with those subset of keys. They also have a governance dApp for doing governance within these different ecosystems. And then they have validator dApps to get current lists of validators. There's some other dApps, so you can, um, for building a testnet, for blockchain explorer, for network stats, and also token wizards, Howie wizards, and they have a few other ones that are in process. So they have a proof of physical address. So this is one that's necessary for that identity that they need for the validators. They're also working on a proof of phone, proof of GitHub, proof of bank account to just help with the identity because identity is crucial in this ecosystem. Now, right now, there's a total of 17 validators. Most of these were on there at the very beginning, but you can go through, you could take a look at them if you want to. And we have a look at the team here. Now, Igor, the technical lead of the team, he's the one who won Hackathon, so you can bet he's probably a pretty good developer. In terms of advisors, they have a few advisors from PricewaterhouseCooper, William Mugiar, who's very well known in blockchain, and then someone from the Legal Innovation at Vermont Law School. So they do have people there that could be helpful. Now, taking a look at POA in terms of what it's doing. Right now, it's trading at pretty much all-time highs. It was once a little bit higher at $0.77, cents, now it's at $0.75. Cents. You can find POA Network on Binance and Buybox, so they were pretty lucky in that one of the first exchanges they were listed on was Binance, and it makes sense because this is a huge blockchain protocol um, cryptocurrency, so Binance, of course, is going to take them because they're not one of those scammy type of cryptocurrencies. Now, in terms of price, Generally, I have a saying, all-time high, do not buy. But this one could potentially be undervalued. Right now, it's at about the same market cap as other, um, other solutions like Nulls, other big uh, platform solutions like Nulls. So it's roughly ranked around there. But the rank 125 right now, generally once something breaks into the top 100, it starts to get a lot of press, a lot of publicity, and price goes up. But... Am I buying this one right now? I'm not, but if I were to buy this one right now, I'd probably buy it and set a stop loss at about 10 to 15% below, just in case the price comes back down. Because this was a, uh, ICO price was seven cents, so it's already 10 x on ICO price. Um, they did have a small market cap, a small hard cap for the ICO of 12 and a half million. Uh, so this is one that could potentially go up because there's, you know, it has the potential for being very large. Right now, it's at all-time highs. Could the price go up? I don't know. This isn't financial advice. Anyways, I'm just reviewing this for you. Now, guys, if you want, you can go ahead and read the white paper. It's on their GitHub. I took a look at that. It's really not that bad. Um, and honestly, it seems long at first, but the end of it is just a whole bunch of code here, so you don't even need to worry about that. Uh, the other thing, most of the white paper is just talking about the proof of authority consensus mechanism. That's the main selling point of this. A little bit faster, more secure, things like that. But the proof of authority consensus mechanism, that is this. They're the first people to ever do that type of consensus. And so there could be value in it, first mover advantage, that type of thing. So I hope you enjoyed that review of POA Network. You got it because you guys asked for it. Um, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, click on that like button or don't like button, and uh, let me know down below what you think about POA Network, what you think the price could potentially do. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace!